What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here, back for another Hot 5 new releases on KDP. And this week we're gonna do something entirely different. This week, instead of combing US, we're gonna comb good old Amazon Europe and show everyone out there who's been asking the question, does the same things sell on Amazon Europe as they do in Amazon USA? And I think we might be surprised at what we find. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know what we're gonna find, but it sure is gonna be interesting. And today we will finally answer the question of what is selling well in Amazon Europe. We'll see if we can find any ideas for Amazon USA and who knows what'll happen. So I'm ready to get the party started. I hope you're ready. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I am here, I'm on a VPN so that I can get the true searches from Amazon Europe. So I put my location as Switzerland, as you can see it says deliver to Switzerland. And all I'm gonna do, and I already did, is Googled Amazon hot new releases. And then I'm gonna just jump on over the same usual thing that we do, jump on over to books, jump into children's books. And for this one, we are gonna search children's activity books since it's the first time we've ever looked at the UK. So it's going to be interesting to see what we find. So right here, I am on amazon.co.uk and here we are in hot releases, activities, crafts, and games for children. Obviously these searches will come up different, whatever category you decide to jump into. If you recall last week, we looked at the adult coloring books, which we got a lot of interesting things that came out in the adult coloring books. Now, this time around, we're going to search entire Amazon Europe for children's books. And while UK does not encompass all of Europe, they've more or less recently split off all the European sites. It does pretty much include what is selling in the UK and a couple of the other smaller countries around there. There is Amazon Germany, which we can look at in the future if you guys are interested in that, or Amazon Spain and even Japan. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover any of those other properties. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and look at the old fashioned Amazon original European site, which is the UK site. So here we are, let's see what we pull out. I really predict that a lot of what we're going to find are the things that are already hot in the USA and potentially a combination of those. However, hopefully this does spring up some new ideas and it makes us realize that what we are making in the USA sells worldwide. So let's have a peek. We do have the Disney Dreams collection here. Here's a cat's cookbook. But one of the interesting things that I noticed right away is kind of how the, the whole format of the UK site, it looks like there's a lot less categories and everything is sort of spread out. So that's kind of interesting to me as it's a little different and I don't usually specialize in the UK, although I have been told that the UK algorithm falls way behind the Amazon USA algorithm. So whatever's going on in Amazon USA, it's a lot easier to do in the UK and they're kind of a little bit behind. So right away, I see this cat's cookbook, which I think is pretty cool. It obviously incorporates cats, which are doing extremely well. And we talked about in the past how cookbooks for kids are fire. So this does a terrific job of implementing both. And again, it's a tactic that I've covered before, how you pretty much lump together two of the things that I talk about and they work out really well. Here's a You Choose Fairy Tales, which I think is pretty cool also. This almost reminds me of one of the choose your own path video games, which is obviously super hot in the US. So this is the very first one that I absolutely love. I think you can do this with a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily have to be fairy tales, but fairy tales are pretty much open and you can kind of do a parody on any of them and pretty much get away with it. So I would be interested in creating something similar to this, but you choose something else. Maybe not fairy tales, maybe it'll come to me at the end of this video, or maybe in a future video, I'll take the time to brainstorm this and then give you guys a bunch of topics that you could use for the you choose but the reason that I like this is because video games of this type are really red hot where it's you pick your own adventure you choose the way it goes and the potential that it can end in 30,000 different ways is very possible now obviously you couldn't do that with a book but I would definitely want to take a look at this one in fact I might take a look at this on another video because I'm really curious to see if this is available in the USA but either way I just pulled it up here and if you guys want me to cover it in a full-on video by itself let me know below I might even order a copy and see how we could really wing this or put this together and it could be something really epic but I like this from a brand perspective I like it from a fun factor perspective and I think it would do really well in the USA here we've got another book of if you go down to the woods today so obviously this is also cool let me tell you why more than a hundred things to find so this is another Another type of book or activity book that you could do where if you place a child in a certain environment here are 100 things he finds you don't necessarily have to do it at the woods but right now going into summer we saw that in the Amazon hot keywords some of the hottest keywords 
specifically for women are summer dresses, sandals, bikinis, and short mini skirts. So women are getting ready for the beach. They're getting ready for summer. A fantastic book to make that's similar to this is if we go to the beach today, here are 100 things you'll find and make it an entire activity book for kids. But you can pick several different environments like that, even themed. So for example, we're coming up into Easter and while I might not do it for Easter, I might even do this for Mother's Day and Father's Day, but if I go into mom's room, here are 100 things I find. If I go to church on Easter Sunday, here are 100 things I can find. If I go into this haunted house during Halloween, here are 100 things I can find. And obviously, if you take the time to brainstorm that a little bit more, you can come up with the ideas to create those, but I think those would be just absolute fire. And if somebody out there does them, I would love to see it copy but I think it really leaves a lot open to be able to create these like these little books could obviously be kind of like doodled so a lot of artists out there that can whip these up rather quickly so let's see what else we see grow forage and make here's the whole theme of gardening and already we found two different themes we like but again a lot of these are pretty much going into what we've already talked about in the US I have no idea what this DSMP is it says what on earth is a DSMP if somebody can enlighten me if it's like a UK thing that's awesome but I have no clue what it is so I'd be interested here's more bunnies books here's the good old riddles for smart kids and I know that one of our viewers actually said that they thought it would be genius to create a riddles for dumb adults and I think that's possibly one of the best ideas I've ever heard because of the fact that you're not insulting anyone's kids it could be a gag gift for your friend for your family member for anyone that you tease around and say like oh god dude you're an idiot obviously he needs a riddles for idiots right so that would be a fantastic series we've always seen the series of of dummies books which do fantastic in the USA this would be an idiot's book and it could just be picking fun at your adult friends right so here we have another golden egg which signals Easter is hot. Here's a beach explorer. So before I even got down here, somebody's already done it. So here it is, 50 things to see and discover, 50 things to see and do. This is the type of book that I'm talking about that you could really do a lot of different things and you could title it something and it's entirely different from the way that this guy did it. So it has a lot of room to work with. You could do them all doodles. You could do 50 things you see in the kitchen and now focus on the fact that kids are interested in cooking and you could just do it so many different ways. All right, so here we got a story orchestra. I can play volume one. Um, this is kind of interesting as well. Tarot cards for all ages. That's another very fascinating thing. We've got a treasure hunt, which I think is great. Actually, you could also even do a treasure hunt activity book. So I like that theme a lot. I like that one of the things that I'm seeing in the UK that's pretty hot is this thing about discovery and almost making these books games, which I think is ingenious because gamification is one of the hottest things that there is right now. So I love this treasure hunt one. I might do an entire video about gamification and gamifying your books. So I think that's just ingenious. Here we have farm animals, which are always hot. Here's Bluey. You go Bluey, man. You just crank it out in every country and you're just raking it in. Whoever created Bluey, genius. Here's a busy jungle book. We've talked about just animals in general. Here's a dollhouse. It looks like almost just a... Let's have a peek at what this one is. I'm, I'm very curious. It's rare that I, that I click into one of these and I think it looks almost like just a book that you write in, like a journal, but I don't know. It could be one of several different things and it really doesn't say too much. So I am going to just skip it. And one thing that it gives me an idea, and I think we've talked about this before, is this idea of paper dolls, or being able to have like scissor skills with paper dolls, because I think the kids are enjoying that kind of stuff again. This is the kind of stuff that I grew up with, and probably a lot of you grew up with. A lot of people are like, holy shit, Liz, you're old as fuck, right? No, <laughs> obviously so, but uh, let's see what else we can find here. World Whizzing Facts, the Story Orchestra. I'm seeing a lot of very, very interesting topics, so it's very different. Um, then the USA, but it's still uh, also the same. Awesome riddles for smart kids, awesome riddles for dumb adults. That'd be perfect. Whoever came up with that, I hope you're doing it and I hope you're selling. It, obviously, it is a fantastic idea. Again, more bunnies, supercars. Let's see if we can zoom this out here. Invest interesting facts for kids, which we've kind of talked about before. Let's see, Spot visits his grandparents. Spot is another one of those characters, just like that red bird, which I forgot his name, and Bluey, who's just popping up everywhere. Here's a scientist like me. I think we saw a doctor like me. So that was kind of interesting. Here's an around the world coloring by number, which we've talked about in the past and how we make it regional and we make geographic books do excellent. Sticker 
doodle dolly dressing dancer so that's kind of an interesting one obviously little girls would be very happy to get that one here's a you can cook with tasty foods and bugs both of which we've talked about more among us here's another one this one gives me a fantastic idea kids obviously love to shop and i see a lot of math books which we know are hot but if you put together and you put an activity book as if they're going to the store and then you tell them what to get and buy and then you have them color it in and then at the end, you ask them to total out and do some math or how much did this cost? That would be a great idea. This reminds me of this busy shopping one, showing them some shelves with some stocked up. Inventory would be really cool. So Digosaurus, we got Word Search and Seashore. And a lot of animals, a lot of the same things that we really talk about in the USA. And that's really the main thing here that I've seen is that it's almost the same, right? It's almost the same as what's going on in the USA with a couple different themes that are hot and I've already covered the two hot themes. Let's see if we can find anything else. So this is something else that kept popping up. I think we saw busy something else. So a lot of branding here in the UK that I enjoy. Here's another one. What are the clouds? Lift the flap. First questions and answers. So this is answering questions. So you could almost create a book and I like the idea of this are really common questions that kid asks. And this is one of them. What are clouds? Like, for example, one of the most common questions and possibly one of the hottest things that you could do is what are farts, right? Put what are farts on the cover of any book, slap a unicorn on there farting and I almost guarantee you could have a winner on your hands as long as the inside is very quality. So answering questions for kids, those types of books would do excellent. And there's a lot of interesting facts. This is the second one. So we're going to have to talk about this one. There was another one that was interesting facts for kids. So that's twice we've seen this theme book. And again, you could literally almost put any kind of interesting facts into an activity book and make it sell if you're clever enough with the cover and you're clever enough with the interior. All right, so let's see, it's, it's a pretty basic thing and I don't really want to harp on it and spend too much time on it, but the evidence of what we found thus far shows two of those books already. So that would tell us that another one would sell. All right, let's see what else we've got. Would you rather the whole family? Uh, Dragon Prince, which we've talked about. Let's pretend fire station. So I like this theme. Here it is. Let's pretend. You obviously probably cannot use that, but if you let them pretend, this is still with the theme of putting them in an environment and then them being able to pretend and use their imagination that they're in that environment as long as you surround them with things from that environment. So this is another way to wing the hundred things you would find at the beach. It would be obviously don't title it Let's Pretend, but it would be something else and then an environment. It could be a hospital, it could be a circus, it could be an amusement park, it could be any of the things that kids love. It could be like a horse ranch, a farm, any of that. That's how you do it, that's how you theme it, and then you create a brand from it, so then you have a whole series of different books like that. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Jolly good food, food is hot in the USA. Here's a busy ambulance. So again, they're doing nothing more than the same thing that we've been talking about. This is busy ambulance, showing them what's going on inside of an ambulance. I really haven't seen this done too much in the USA, but in the UK, they're just littering the top 100. I can say, sorry, the ambitious ninja. We've talked about ninjas before. Here's a DC superhero. Learn to read with colors and a million cute animals. So same difference. It's just putting a bunch of animals together and creating a book with a theme, which is kind of a little too wide. It's a million different animals. At least subdivide them into farms, dinosaurs, things of that nature. Here's a mini beast explorer, which is kind of interesting. Dinosaur sounds. And then, hey, Doogie Buggy Book. I don't know what the heck that is. And that's pretty much it. Here's a great one. Percy the Park Keeper Nature Explorer Activity Book. Play, packed with fun things to do. So this would be the same thing. This puts them inside of an ex activity, explorer, zoo, or some sort of thing like that. And then now it allows the book to be able to do a lot of things, activities, finding animals, things of that nature. But again, another theme book, very similar from the rest of the books that we're finding in the UK. And hopefully these ideas spark some inspiration for your ideas in the USA as we've seen one major theme. Things that sell in the US are also selling in the UK. So I imagine vice versa, they'll work as well. So. Other than that, let me know your questions and comments below. I always personally answer them and I'll see you next time.